I don't have a bucket list, but if there is such a thing as a bucket list, mine's to shoot an elk with my bow. <laughs> My goal in life, honestly. The deer being up and moving early has got me at least hopeful. I had archery hunted when I was early years in high school and then kind of got to work and then got away from it and didn't really get back into it until about 15 years ago. And one of my goals has always been to get an elk with my bow just hasn't happened for me. I've gotten deer, but I've never gotten an elk with my bow. You know, I've been real close sometimes, and it's just been kind of elusive. Ooh. The world is spinning, not that huge now. The one you live in is in slow mo. It's fair to say it and not let you be. Cause your eyes are open, but you can't see. There's a lot of difference between archery and rifle because you, the distance, you just gotta be so much closer on it. So many things can go wrong. Your eyes are open, but you can't see. I just heard him. Can you see him? No, but I think it's in the neck. I think it's down over there. I, I agree with you. We're gonna get set up right down in here and see if he'll come to us. Oh, gotcha. Okay.
So in 15 years, I just I haven't, haven't gotten an elk with my bow yet. But I, I really feel like there's another bull right there. That bull's not 250 yards away. The good news is there's three big bulls over there. I mean, big. We need a little bit of help from them to get in the game. There is another bull way down there. just need somebody to give us a little favor. That bull's got a little bunch of cows and I think he's kind of moving them off for protection, so. I'm 54 years old, so if I uh, get too old, maybe I just won't get one. <laughs> 